Okay, um, cylinder contribution codes. So th it just means that uh, your voltage across your injector is out of spec, meaning it you know may not run quite right or it might it might idle weird but then once you get uh, up in the rpm range it's fine any number of things but um i'm just gonna walk you through the steps because i just had this happen um and i had to go kind of far into it so first thing you can do and typically it's it's uh indicative of a of a cylinder going or i mean an injector going bad so you know if you got a lot of miles on your on your truck or whatever that's where you're probably probably going to be a need a new injector but uh, if you so that's your first thing either take your injector out whichever cylinder it is uh, take it out and you can either set it out to be tested or you can flop with a cylinder that's not throwing a code uh, this this will not throw cause an engine light because you switched them you know like with the flow rates that you have to put in there it's not that won't throw an engine light so flip them clear the code see if it comes back obviously if it that new cylinder is now is is has a problem then you've identified your injector could potentially be bad so it's not uh just like something strange but you have identified that that injector is bad the other kind of cheap thing is to get a new uh pigtail these are, I think they're like 20 bucks um, from Ford, but they come as like a kit uh, and they got little crimp guys and then um, heat shrink with them. And I could show you the one I did because this is, so uh, in, in my process, I went, I did that, it was cylinder two. So it was, it was P0266, I think. So cylinder number two. So then I flipped one and two or maybe two and three. Either way, I flipped them, um, and then it followed, or no, no, it stayed on cylinder two. So, okay, the injector wasn't the problem. Um, so I switched them back just because I, you know. So then I was like, well, it, it it's maybe, you know, it's probably this pigtail because I know guys have had some problems with these. And what mine looks like, it's kind of dark. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, there you go. So, new pigtail and there's the um, the heat shrink and stuff. So, tried that out. And that didn't do anything. So I cleared it, drove it for a while, still was cylinder two. So... The last thing is the uh, ECM, and the one, the, a new one of those is seven hundred bucks. So that's your your last case, which that was my problem. Um, I got a new ECM, and uh, it, it, now it's fine. So what you can do is you'd have to print off the wiring diagram, but what you've got to do is in you take this this uh plug off and then there's two there's like two main rows on the top and then the other one's on the bottom when you look at it and i can't remember which one but you can you can test the you can test the harness so when you get your schematic and you test the harness out then you'll see if you're shorting the ground anywhere um and if you got continuity in your harness and everything checks out there that's your last option before you know that's you're looking at a new ecm and that obviously you need uh someone to do like a for someone who's got ids because you need to basically copy and paste what's on your old ecm to your new one so uh hopefully that helps if i miss anything um leave a comment and i'll see if i can address it